Okay, it's the morning of the 24th, August 24th, and we're at Valley Forge, specifically at uh, George Washington's headquarters at Valley Forge. Well, it's a nice day. And we're going to walk down to where his headquarters was. So you can do a driving tour through here, and a walking and biking tour. If we had time, we'd rent bikes or walk. It's a five mile walk. Kind of reminds me of Gettysburg, the lay of the land and how big it was. I think they had, it at one time, 20,000 troops here. And I think it got down to as low as 6,000 in the winter time in February. Really hard month to be here. And uh, so they had a lot of deserters. Food was low. Morale was low, obviously. So they lost a lot of, a lot of people, you know, deserted basically. And there was sickness and disease and, and it wasn't good. Um, I think they had German, French, and maybe Russian um, generals training the troops here. You know, instilling discipline and all those basic things, and then they even got them provisioned better, better muskets. And things got better, I guess, throughout the winter of 1777. They marched in here in December of 1777, and sort of keeping an eye on Philadelphia where the British were. Anyway, looks like a train station here, too. Okay, this is a train station near Washington's headquarters. And it was put in in 1842, we learned. I, I forget which rail line, but it was for the coal mines that are up further west in Pennsylvania. And the Boy Scouts used this for their national jamboree from the 1950s into, I think, 1980. So it was an active train station until, I think, the 60s. All right, Mars says the early 80s. So anyway, um, George Washington headquarters, right down here. And we learned that George Washington chose his aides based on their education, their even-temperedness, their ability to write, and their penmanship. That's what he used to determine who his aides would be. Kind of interesting. So this is where his headquarters were. I think this is just one of the houses, the main house is further down this path. I guess they still use that rail line.
like um, coal, coal tar. Anyway, so this is Washington's headquarters. That house over there. And these are just, I guess, a carriage house. Maybe support, you know, staff housing. But it's very pretty here. Probably real nice in the fall when the leaves are changing. Okay, well, we just learned that actually that was Washington's headquarters. Not, not that big, huge house up there. That house wasn't even there, I guess. Um, the ranger just told us that. And he also mentioned, because I mentioned I thought it was going to be bigger, and he said this was Washington's most austere headquarters that he's had during his tenure. And he writes about it being small and cramped. And, and you look at it, it is kind of small. Um, so Martha was here with him. Kind of interesting. So that was his headquarters. Not much. He was running the whole Continental Army from here that winter. And of course the army was spread out all over, well they were, in, not the, the, the army as a whole um, he was in charge of. So everything from Boston all the way down to Virginia I guess. Um, or maybe even further south than that. Um, he was running it all from here that winter, the winter of 1777. And they left in June of 1778. All right, so we have time. We can walk through here. This headquarters. So, there we go. Hello, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, we're just <laughs> doing a little. Oh, sure. So that room right there is where Washington's aides to camp work. Oh, okay. They do all the paperwork. If you're familiar with their guy in our ten dollar bill, Hamilton. Yeah. He worked right in there. Alexander Hamilton. So again, please take videos or filming, whatever you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing. I put it on YouTube so oh, okay. my family can see it. Yeah. So um, all that woodwork in there is original. Oh really? The furnishings, unfortunately, are not. Similar, right? Um, yes, very similar. Curatorial staff does an excellent job of recreating what a little looked like. There's a couple of period pieces. That clock. So this is George Washington's personal office. That other one was his aide. Beautiful, actually. Big 10-foot ceilings and windows. The original banister. Huh? This would be his bedroom. Quite nice. Particularly compared to what the troops were. Actually, maybe this one is. I don't know. No, oh, this must be his staff. Wow. That was a short person. Oh, there's another four. Whoa. Wow. Pretty amazing. All right, back we go. Okay, well, pretty small house, actually. This looks like the kitchen. Big bread, 
pretty neat. Anyway, then up there you can see some of the huts where the troops stayed. Way up there. They didn't even have windows. <laughs>